This year, I have been looking at Song of Solomon and thinking about how the words in this passage so apply to us as a church. So I'm going to read them to us. They're from chapter two. The one I love calls to me, arise, come away with me. I have come to you as you have asked to draw you to my heart and lead you out. For now is the time, my beautiful one, the season has changed. The bondage of your barren winter has ended and the season of hiding is over and gone. The rains have soaked the earth and left it bright with blossoming flowers. The season for singing and pruning the vines has arrived. I hear the cooing of doves in our land, filling the air with songs to awaken you and guide you forth. Can you not discern this new day of destiny? Breaking forth around you, the early signs of my purposes and plans are bursting forth. The budding vines of new life are now blooming everywhere. The fragrance of their flowers whispers. There is change in the air. Arise, my love, my beautiful companion, and run with me to the higher place. For now is the time to arise and come away with me. For you are my dove, hidden in the split open rock. It was I who took you and hid you high in the secret stairway of the sky. Let me see your radiant face and hear your sweet voice. A new year, a new day, a new season. There is a change in the air. We welcome you, God, into this new time. We pray that this year will indeed be better than the last one. This year, we pray that your light would guide us, your voice would lead us, that we would go where you go. Our prayer this year is that you would be in all we are and all we do, in the pain, in the joy, in the things that go our way and the things that don't. In the uncertainty, give us steadiness. In our fear, give us faith. In our everyday lives, fill us with your Holy Spirit that helps us see from your perspective. May our everyday jobs bring healing, joy and life to all we come into contact with. May we be people who make a way for others to thrive and flourish. May we see people given a bad medical diagnosis know your healing and your peace. May we see new babies born to families who long to hold them. May we see weddings that are the start of a lifetime together. May our relationships together be honest and deep, real and loving. May we see our older generation walk into first time adventures with new life in their bones and a song in their hearts. May we see families strengthened and equipped to serve each other. May we see single people know they are valued and loved. May we see our young people be free to be who you called them to be and knowing how loved they are. May we see our children full of your Holy Spirit and with a fresh confidence. May the church show the way of Jesus in the way we love each other. May we hold onto truth and grace, joy and pain. May the church's voice always be worshipping, always be speaking up for others and always be thankful. When we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, may our ploughed hearts broken and hurting be the seedbed for a new planting of your hope. May we see families divided and in conflict come together and find peace. May we see people far from home find themselves loved and in community. May we see the leaders of our country humbly seeking truth and working together with others. May we see creativity thrive, new songs, new possibilities and faith for new dreams. May we see local businesses go from strength to strength and new ventures spring up. May our schools be safe places for learning and finding potential. May we see our community find you, God, and know that they are loved. May the abused and broken find freedom and healing. May we have a love and care and respect for this wonderful world you created. May we see the barriers between generations, cultures and nations broken down and allow kindness and love to flood in. 
May we see our lives become more prayerful, more humble, more thankful and more loving. In this, our 50th year of being a church, may we celebrate your goodness and revel in your kindness. And so we will arise and we will walk with you into this new year. Amen.